Infusionsoft UTM. We're going to store values inside notes in Infusionsoft that record the UTM variables. We're also going to take advantage of the custom fields. So the most important thing here is we want to get attribution to the source. So we absolutely have to log the first occurrence of the UTM parameters that occur for a contact. And we're going to take advantage of the notes field, which will timestamp that to keep track of it. So let's dive right in. So first thing we'll do is we'll create some custom fields that we're going to use. And we're going to, of course, they're going to be UTM source, medium, campaign, term, content. So let's dive right in here. And we're just going to make them text fields. Okay, next step is to create some tags that will start an automation to update the notes field with the UTM variables. So let's create three different tags and we'll put them into the prospect category. Okay. Now we're going to create an automation that gets triggered when the start UTM parameter gets applied. We'll have a decision diamond in there that will check to see if the UTM already tag is applied, and if it's not, then we'll add a note. Now, what we want to do is apply a note. So we're going to go ahead and add this right here for now. And then we're going to create an empty one in case um, uh, the parameters have already been applied. Now, inside here, we want to apply a note. We're going to call it other. And I'm going to show you one, but we are going to just copy paste what I've already done once. So let's do this UTM underscore source equals. I want to use the merge fields under custom. We'll take this out of, actually at this point, we want to apply the UTM already tag. So let's go ahead and do that. Next step is we want to stop this automation and finish. And this should be ready to be published. So anytime you want to check to see if the UTM parameters have been applied or you want to apply the UTM parameters, this will do it. It'll only do it once based on this decision diamond. So now, next step is we want to create a campaign that has a web form and include the UTM variables as hidden values. So let's create another campaign.
When I use this web form, I need to use the HTML version and paste it into my website. Let's set it up. Okay, the only thing I want to collect is email plus the hidden values. So I need to go to field snippets, hidden, Let's go down UTM source. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna leave the value empty. UTM medium. Okay. Let's take that out of draft mode. Let's go look and see if the code is available. Sometimes you have to actually publish it first. So I'm just gonna go in and take a look at this code. So there's no hidden field yet. So I need to go back out and I need to publish this to get the appropriate code. But actually the next thing I wanna do if I wanna record those UTM values in a notes section is apply a tag. So I'm gonna just add another sequence here. And I want to do the start tag, save it, take this out of draft mode, go back here, and that's it. So I'm going to publish this now. Go back into edit mode, go into here, and then grab the code in HTML format. I'm going to do the unstyled. So if I copy this code, now I'm going to log into my WordPress site. So I'm going to go into a um, page, or I'm going to create, edit a page, and just simply paste in this for now. So there it is. And here are the hidden fields, the UTM ones that we're going to deal with. So I'm going to go ahead and update that for now. I need to add a plugin that will grab the query string variables and push them into there. So let's go to plugins, add a new one, and let's upload, let's search. This one is called URL params. Should be the first one by Jeremy Shapiro. Right here, go ahead and install it. And there is absolutely no configuration after you've activated it. So there, it's ready to use. Let's go back into this page, edit it, and we need to replace all these value equals null with the appropriate short code. So here's what that looks like. Okay, now that I have all these short codes embedded here, I'm gonna go to the campaign URL builder that Google provides and go ahead and paste everything in here. I've got a link to work with now. So I'm going to go back here and reload it with those UTM variables, variables appended. So now if I view page source, notice that all of these have values associated with them. They no longer are empty. So our form is ready to use. I'm going to go ahead and submit an email address. Okay, now let's go look that person up. So if we click on the person's name or no name, let's go look at custom fields. And we have the UTM variables filled in here. So that's our most recent values. If we go under tasks, I believe, under notes, there it is. So we've got the UTM parameters that are, have been timestamped. And these are the original ones. So we've got the ability to keep track of the original UTM parameters and then the current ones. So that's what's involved with setting up Infusionsoft to capture UTM values.